Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I always appreciate you joining me for these classes online, whether you're at home, traveling, or fitting it in somewhere in the middle of your day. Today's practice is going to allow you to open up your shoulders, hips, hamstrings. We're gonna get a little bit into our core as well, so you'll feel some work there. If you have any questions, always feel free to comment after. Go ahead and grab your yoga mat and let's get started. Um, I wanna bring us down onto our backs if that's okay to start practice. That will allow us the opportunity to kind of go from our backs and do a little bit of core once we you know, get ready for, the, for it. And then from there, we'll move along. So, hello, Miss Minnie. You gotta sit down though. All right, so lay all the way down onto your backs with me. Good, you can bend your knees and plant your feet, letting your knees touch, or you can fully extend your legs all the way out if you want to. Rest your arms next to you, maybe right hand to heart, left hand to belly. And I want each one of you just to really take some deep breaths. So Ujjayi Pranayama here, inhale through the nose, counting four, three, two, one. Exhale through the nose, counting five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Try that again. Inhale through the nose on a four count. So that's four, three, two, one. Good. Exhale on a five count. So elongate the breath. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, four, three, two. Hold the breath at the top for me. And now a slow exhale of five, four, three, two, peacefully exhale out on one. Good, take a nice open mouth exhale. <sighs> Let it go. And then when you lay here, I want you just to notice as you approach your mat, as you kind of create whatever space you want to as your own. Just enjoy being right here. And then on your next breath, take your arms over your head. So I want you to reach over your head, interlace your fingers, push your palms far beyond the body, draw your belly in and really feel the elongation in the spine and the ribs here. So what I want you to do is pretend like my hand is underneath your low back, just kind of like how I just put my hand under mine. And you're going to pull your abs in and down as you push your back, excuse me, yeah, your back into your hand. Good job. Just like that. Now exhale. We're going to bring both of our knees into our chest. So you're gonna grab your shins and then give me a left to right spinal rock. So you're rocking across the lumbar spine, which is your sacrum, and you're massaging your back from side to side, good. Now bring your knees at 90 degrees, bring your arms to the sky. Good, engage your core, same thing we just talked about, pulling the spine down to the ground, it's called a spinal imprint. Right leg reaches forward, left arm over your head, hold. Good, bring it back to neutral. Switch, left leg long, right arm over your head. Exhale, back to center. Good, reach long, come back to center. And you're alternating each rep, so you're really feeling the extension from the body. You're really pulling the belly in and down, and your core is starting to create a little bit of fire in your body, which is a good thing. <laughs> and as you do this with me, I want you to feel your body pull in and down. All right, so spine to the earth, belly button to the spine, abs pulling into your core. We're here for four, neutral, good, three, Neutral, it's called dead bug two. Good, really yoga-like name, right? And one. Bring everything back to center. 
Now pick up your head, neck, and shoulders so you're right here with me. Shoulder blades are lifted, good. Now slightly tuck the chin and then pulse. Eight, seven, six, five. Look forward, four, three, two, one. Exhale, put your head down, but put your hands beneath your head. So lay your head into your hands, okay? Now press your feet all the way into the air. So feel the extension of the bottoms of your feet reach up. Good. Now we're going to crunch up and pick up our butt and then lower. Crunch up, lower. Good. Eight, seven. Pick up your butt. Six, five. Pick up your booty. Four. Three, head is up, butt is up, two, one more, one. Good, now keeping the legs in the air, keeping the hands behind your head, you should start to feel some heat in your core. We're gonna lower one leg halfway down, twist towards the straight leg, and then switch. Straight-legged bicycles, switch, switch, switch. Switch, good, eight, seven, six, five. This is it in four, three, two, one. Beautiful, complete that little sequence by hugging your knees into your chest and re-massaging the spine left to right, but at the same time, applying pressure from your thighs to your stomach and noticing how that softens a little bit of the work that you just did. Good, exhale, push your feet to the sky. Hold the back of your legs and then give me three rocks. One, two, rock number three brings us up right together. Good, exhale, scoot the sit bones back. Now cross your shins, lengthen your spine. Exhale right into a nice forward fold. Sukhasana, easy pose when we cross our legs like this. Good work, and then just bow forward. Getting out that creaky, ooey gooeyness in the low back and hips here. And a nice opportunity just to relax. So can you feel your energy slow down? Good, inhale, bring the spine to an upright position. And then inhale, bring both arms up to the sky. Now keep your arms in the air. Watch my hands. Interlace the fingers. Push your palms up with me. Good. Exhale, tuck the chin down. Pull the ribs in as you do so. And then close your eyes if you want. And maybe turn your head from side to side for a little bit of a stretch in your cervical spine. Good, inhale, elongate the spine, get taller. Good, exhale, seated twist to the right. So put your palm behind you, left hand's gonna grab hold of your knee and then turn your gaze all the way back. Can your chin align with your back shoulder bone? And that's a hard thing that I'm asking you to do. It's not a simple task to try to bring your chin there, but see if you can turn and look. Good, and then on your next breath in, realign the spine, inhale, reach up, same bind. So it's called palms flip, palms to sky, reach up, mula bandhasana, tuck the chin, look down. Good, exhale as you release, seated twist to the left. Really nice, easy twist here. Revolve your spine as you look behind you, three. Draw your belly up and in. Two, firm your core. And then one, exhale, slowly release. Good. Let's transition forward, tabletop. All right. Now take the right foot back. Push through the ball of your foot here. Extend. Now spread your fingers wide. Glue your palms down. Good. Watch my heel. Bring your right heel to your butt, just like mine. Good, so it creates a donkey-like shape of a kick. Draw your low belly in, we kick up. Eight, seven, six, five. Look forward, four, squeeze your butt. Three, 
two, one. Now walk your hands forward a little bit more. So you're kind of extended further than tabletop. Pick up your back left knee so you're in plank. Pull your right knee into your nose, support your core. Kick it all the way up, three-legged dog. Good, lower your feet, welcome to your first down dog. Go ahead and set up your hands and feet so you're comfortable. And if you're new to down dog, look at your feet, make sure they're about six inches apart. Make sure your elbows are slightly bent versus locked out. And then I want you just to soften as you push back with both hands, gaze back at your heels and then turn your head left to right. Good, exhale, push with both hands. Beautiful. On your next inhale, roll forward to plank, engage your core. Good, exhale, push back, down dog. Lift through your hips. Repeat, inhale, roll forward. Good, exhale, push back. Go ahead and take your time, roll forward, drop the knees, and we're gonna return to tabletop where we started that sequence, okay? Now, take your hands beneath your shoulders, kick the left leg back, so push through the ball of the foot to get started, which is gonna stretch out your calf muscle, Achilles. Nice work. And then from there, look forward, heel to glute, donkey. Good, now draw your belly in. Good, ready? Kick up, eight, seven, six, five. Use your butt, four, my butt is sore, three, <laughs> two, good, one. Now stay there, walk your hands further forward. Pick up your right knee, ready, set, lift. Pull your left knee right into your nose. Hold for three. This is hard, you've got this, two, Good, now kick your left leg all the way back up. Good, release your feet. Feet are about six inches apart, exhale, push back. Roll forward to plank, we're gonna take our first flow, chaturanga. Flip your feet, up dog, cobra, hold. Good, so really push down into your hands, lift your heart forward and then gently press back to child's pose. Hips to heels, forehead down, and then take your right hand to your right heel, your left hand to your left heel, and just feel your chest kind of fall over your thighs, noticing the release in your body. Good, three. Two. And then on one, you're gonna gently extend the arms out in front of you, extended child's pose. Gaze forward to your hands, shift the shoulders forward, and then arrive in down dog with me. Good, now assist yourself here. Look at your knees, are they slightly bent? Look at your elbows, are they slightly bent? Good. Go ahead and take your time. We're gonna gaze to our hands and take a few steps to arrive at the top of your mat so that you're in a forward bend. Lengthen halfway, hands to shins or hands to blocks or the mat, depending on how you're feeling. You wanna feel your sit bones reach out and your heart reach forward with me. Good, fold forward together. Let's all drop our heads down towards the earth and then massage your neck left to right. So again, I'm just looking from one side of the room to the other, looking towards you, and then I'm looking away from you. And then you're gonna firmly press down into both feet, put your hands on your hips, glide your spine all the way up. Good, exhale, settle in here, press your feet down. Now, if your feet are separated, bring them together as we bring our arms all the way up into the sky. Good, and then exhale, pull your hands to heart center. You're gonna raise your left knee up to your belly button. So you're just gonna simply stand on your right leg, lift your knee with me. Good. Now, exhale, take your heel, bring it to your glute, just like we did when we were in our tabletop and our hands and knees. Good, bring your left knee back up. 
bring it to your glute. One more time, bring your knee up, train the knee to lift, use your core. Good, feed the foot up. Bring your knee up one more time, exhale this time, step it back. Good, take your arms up. Bend your elbows, open up the heart, reach your chest forward. Good, send your arms back up with me, extend. Exhale, frame your right foot. Left hand stays down. Let's take the right arm up for an easy twist. Look to your top right hand with me. Push through your back heel, roll your ribs under as you reach up. Good, relax your jaw. Nice, now look at your alignment. Look at your left bottom thumb. Can you draw a line with your eyes up your arm, across your chest, all the way to your right hand? Good, lower your right hand down. Step into high plank. Again, chaturanga, lower the knees if you need to. Up dog or cobra, hold, push into your feet, lift your heart. Come all the way back to down dog, hips into the air. Good, exhale, open mouth, sigh if you want. Look forward to your hands, take a few steps or one giant step to get there, or if you've been working on your float, you can do that too. Halfway lift the spine. Good, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, and you know if you've been practicing with me for a while, you're more than welcome to take all the options in the book. <laughs> Exhale, hands to heart, which I've tried to offer. Now, right knee lifts, okay? So we're standing on left foot, right knee rises. And again, you wanna create hip, knee, foot alignment. So don't let this foot chill, let it be active. Now, slide the heel to the butt, kick up, and this should make your right butt work. But don't lean forward, stand up. Good, inhale, lift. Exhale, heel to glute, kick. Inhale, lift. Exhale, heel to glute, kick. Good, inhale, lift, hold. Use your core, use your core. Beautiful, exhale, step it back. Bring your arms up on your inhale so you're in a lunge with me. Beautiful, bend your elbows, lean back, three. Really try to push your chest forward as you pull your belly in, good, two. And then re-extend your arms, inhale. Bring your hands all the way down. All right, glue the right hand down below the shoulder and then use your eyes. Look at your thumb on the right. Look at your forearm, draw the line. And as you do, watch your left arm land directly on top of your right arm. Push your right leg back as you push your left knee forward. Squeeze and tone your glutes as you revolve, three. Good, hold on to this, two. One more full inhale, exhale, lower your left hand. Step back to plank with me, good job. Take an inhale, shift forward, so bring the shoulders past your fingernails. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Good, exhale, push into your feet and we arrive again. Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Take your time, slow the breath. We'll do a similar sequence from the back to the front of the mat now so we can work with lifting our legs. Right leg rises. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, high lunge, take your arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend your elbows open. Good, now reach your arms back up with me, extend. Good, frame your foot, exhale. Twist, right arm to the sky, reach up, look up, lean back with your right arm. Take a full breath, see if you can push through your back heel a little bit longer. Lower your right hand, step your left foot forward. Halfway lift the spine and then bow forward with me. 
push into your feet, stand up, lean back, draw the belly in, get tall. Good, hands come to heart center, right knee rises. Ready? Right heel to right butt, kick up. Inhale, bring it in. Now kick up, hold it. See if you can lean forward. Three, push your foot to the sky. It's okay to hold on to a wall. Two, I just did that. <laughs> and now bring your knee back up and release your feet. Good, hands to your sides. Inhale, reach up. Go ahead and take an open arm, dive down if it feels comfortable. Inhale, halfway lift your spine. Good, exhale, plank to chaturanga or maybe hold plank and then skip a flow. Or this would be option one, knees, elbows bend, and then transition. Maybe keep your cobra small or maybe make your shape larger. Good job. As we kick it to down dog, look at your feet. And then left leg lifts high, breath in. Step forward on your breath out. Try to not make a sound except your breathing and then rise up to high lunge. Same as before, we 90-90 bend our elbows. Here we go, bend and lean back. Good, now reach up. Good, frame your foot, exhale. Right hand down, please look at your alignment as you take your left arm up. Reach and open, revolve the spine. Three, push through your back heel more. Two, left fingertips lower, look forward, step to the top of your mat. Beautiful, halfway lift. So make your spine so flat that your water bottle, your coffee cup could fit right there on your back and then dive down and it would fall right off. Stand tall, lean back, arms to sky. Good, hands to heart and you should feel a little heat starting to build in the body, that's good. Left knee lifts up. Now, round one, heel to butt, kick it. Good, lift the knee back up. Round two, heel to butt, hold, stay or hinge. Squeeze your back glute, three. Kick up, pull your belly in, two. Exhale, stand up, knee to chest, and release. Take your feet apart about six inches or a whole foot, it doesn't matter. Bring your hands to your hips, go ahead and dive down. Grab opposite elbows for the first time today and I invite you to sway with me from one side of the mat to the other. Let your head hang, find your breath. Releasing in the low back as you sway, noticing the softening in the body. Breathing in and out. Good, release the hands down to the earth when you're ready. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway, flat back. Good, malasana, so that's where we turn our toes out, 10 o'clock and two o'clock, and go ahead and drop your bum. All right, how do you feel about repeating the core from the beginning? Sit, <laughs> let's do it. Scooch forward, exhale, lay all the way down. All right, we start with 90-90, arms up into the air. Ready, set, one arm overhead, one leg out. Bring it in. Option to pick up your head. This makes it a little harder, but it also puts pressure on your neck, so if it doesn't feel good, then don't do it, okay? Good, extend. You're learning how to pull your belly in and down as you feel the effort in your spine. Try to feel supported. Good. You're here for four. Neutral. Three. Neutral. Knees are gonna stay at 90 degrees in two. One more rep. Knees stay at 90. Reach your arms forward. Ready? Pulse it. Eight. Seven, good, six, pick up your head, five, four, three, two, 
hands behind your head, lay your head down, push your feet into the air. Good. Now we add our crunch with our reverse crunch. Ready? Put your hands behind your head, just like mine. Once you get here, we lift head and butt. Eight, seven. The hands are behind the head because they support the neck. If you don't want to do that, totally okay, but it is helpful to pick up the head. Good work. Four, three straight-legged bicycles in two. Lower one leg halfway to the ground, hold it, twist, and then switch. Switch, good, this is it. Eight, seven, six, five. If you smile, it makes it better. Three, two, one. Hug your knees to your chest, beautiful people. You just did that way to work. Close your eyes and just breathe out slowly. Good, we'll take a baby spinal twist here, meaning just short and sweet. So go ahead and bump your hips left, drop your knees right, which will help reduce any pain or tension in the body, but also help open up the left side body, especially after doing all that core. And then bring your knees through center, exhale to the second side, bump the hips. Drop the knees, create your twist. Good, opening up on the right side now, creating space just like we did on the first side. And then on your next breath, inhale, breathe in, exhale, refine center, nice job. Raise both feet straight up, ready? Grab those legs and three rocks, one. Can you rock yourself into a standing forward fold without your hands. Ready, set, I'm not gonna look. Go, 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 go. <laughs> and if you used your hands, I didn't see. <laughs> now that you're here, halfway lift the spine. Good, fold forward, make sure you don't feel dizzy from that quicker movement. Breathe out. Good, inhale, soft bend your knees, and then round your spine a lot, and then slowly stand up. Good, all right. Now we're gonna move through a series of triangle, pyramid, twisted triangle into standing split, okay? So we're gonna start this from the front of our mat. So I want you to put your hands on your hips, bring your left knee straight up, and then you're gonna exhale, step your left foot all the way back. So we're back to that lunge. Good, now let me just go ahead and pivot just so you can see me better. All right, now, Anchor your back heel like a warrior two, and then straighten your right leg. So right toes are facing forward. I've just pivoted on my mat, and then my left toes are facing you. Extend your arms long as you reach out, and then gently find the inside of the ankle, not the big toe, try to find the ankle, and then raise your left arm to the sky. And again, if this is deep, use a block, Use a water bottle or, if necessary, use your shin, not the end of the world, all right? Some people hover the whole time. I don't enjoy that. I like to put my hand down. Good, now, if you're comfortable, I want you to take your top left arm in front of the body. So notice how my arm is gonna reach forward. It's gonna move in a lateral motion, bicep by my ear. And then I'm gonna take this arm into a half bind. So I'm gonna bring my left arm kind of full circle so that lands on my low back, there you go, and then look at my fingertips, they're gonna to start to creep towards the top of my thigh. Once you arrive in where you wanna be, open up, three. Remember your ujjayi pranayama from the beginning of this class. Can you breathe with me in and out of your nose? So inhale. Good, exhale. Everyone work to take your top left shoulder back some more. Good, on your next breath in, bend your knee. Let your left hand go if it's bound, find reverse warrior. Good, now frame your right foot. Pivot to the ball of your left foot as you step up. We're gonna start with pyramid pose, okay? So left toes are facing 10 o'clock, right toes are facing 12 o'clock. 
take your right thumb, put it into the crease of your right hip. I've taught you this many times before and pull your hip backwards. Let your hands walk forward. I invite you to look down at your foot or tuck your chin with me, gaze up to your belly button. Three. Good, let your head hang heavy here, just breathe. Two. And then on one, we're all gonna take our time, we're gonna look forward. And I want you to bring your hands to your hips and come into a flat back. So stick out your butt. You're gonna feel your hamstrings work here. Now, left arm's gonna reach forward. You're gonna place your hand either inside of your foot, in front of your foot, or outside of your foot. Then revolve the spine, take the right arm all the way up. If you want to, your right hand can also stay on your hip. A block can be super helpful. Rotate open, three. Keep lifting through your fingertips, two. Look down at the mat, exhale, release both hands unless you already have and then we'll finish the sequence standing split. So go ahead, lift your left leg with me. Fold forward over your right leg. Use this pose to just stretch your hamstrings, push down through your standing split. Can you feel your right ankle working, stretching, creating space in your body? Take one more big breath in, beautiful job. Exhale forward, fold at the top of your mat. Bend your knees a whole, whole lot, and then slowly roll it up. Good, really nice work. Now we're gonna do the second side. So I'm facing this way now, which is the way that I face for my other side. So I'll be backside to you, but that can be helpful to watch sometimes if you're not sure what's happening in the shoulder. So raise your right knee up. Step it back into a lunge. Good, exhale, drop the heel. So you're gonna make warrior two legs for a second, but then boom, left leg straightens. Now my right thigh wants to rotate into this wall, but I wanna rotate all of this back towards you. Left arm reaches, go ahead and work toward Utita Trigonasana triangle. Take the right arm up. Squeeze and tone the glutes here. Don't forget about hugging the right glute and the left glute towards the midline. Now, if you wish, take the right arm with me. It's gonna move in front of the body. It's gonna pause in the lateral stretch, bicep by the ear. And then you can stay there or keep the rotation going. Try to look back behind you so that your right hip doesn't drop in. Half bind, so I demoed this before. You couldn't really see where my arm landed, but now you can see my arm. And then if you want, you can grab the top of your thigh. And then my job here is to take my right shoulder and continue with each breath to revolve and pull it back behind me as it wants to fall forward. Good, holding on to this stretch for one more long inhale. Relax your jaw as you exhale. Feel even weight in both feet, not just your left foot. Inhale, raise your right arm all the way up. You've got it. Now bend your left knee. Here we go. We reverse the warrior just for a breath together. And then we move to the front of our mat. So frame your foot. Nice. Step the right foot up with me. Ready, set, halfway. Pyramid. So take your left thumb to the crease of your left hip. And this hip wants to go left. So our job is to pull it back. And then you can keep your thumb there, but I like to let my hands release. And then again, stare down at your right foot. That keeps the stretch active. Now, if you want more of a passive stretch, which I enjoy more, tuck your chin, look up towards your belly button. Three. Let your head hang heavy. Two. Hardest pose of the day. You're gonna inhale, start to come up into a flat back. Maybe even bring your hands to your heart. Squeeze and tone your butt right now. Good. Now, right arm extends, reach. Put your left hand on your hip, option one, inside of the foot. Option two, in front of the foot. Option to make it harder, outside of the foot. Start your twist, maybe 
the left arm extends. And this side for me is definitely tighter right now. So I can feel that my body is struggling to be in the right space. Good. Now do your best to take your shirt and keep rotating it so that I can see more and more and more the front of your shirt as you rotate. Good. Take another full breath. Look up. Bring both hands down if they're not already down. And then please lift your right leg straight up from here so that we can all meet in standing splits. And your right leg may go higher than mine. It may not go as high. It does not matter. Our shapes all look different. Just try to lift and open. Good. Lower your feet together, please. Fold forward. Open mouth, exhale. Good. Full breath in. Full breath out. Slowly rise. Dancer's pose. All right. You've already done dancers without grabbing your foot. So now we're adding the grab of the foot. All right. In order to take our pose. So think heel to butt. First, bring your left knee up. Hands are at your heart to start. Okay. Anjali mudra. Now bring your heel to your glute. Hold. I'm wobbling today. Now bring your left arm up and around. Make your circle. Take hold of your foot. Good. Remember, chest stays forward. Every time we took our heel to our butt, we looked forward. Kick and lift. Squeeze inner thighs. Raise right arm. Now stay upright or if you want to, you can reach forward. So I can reach my hand towards my plant or I can stay more upright. Three, good, dance. Two, one more breath. And we're gonna very simply bring the hands back to the heart, knees touch, feet touch. Pick that right leg straight up, good job. This is a hard standing balance. Exhale, heel to glute, stay here. Good, active butt, right? Right arm, big circle, grab it. Heel to glute, chest faces forward, left arm. Soft left knee. Kick, lift, kick, lift, kick, lift. Yes, good, breathe. Again, you can fold deeper like this and your dancer can be, as I fall, a little bit more down towards the earth or your dancer can be a lift and a kick, a lift and a kick. Good, hands to heart, feet together. Close your eyes right here. Give yourself a moment. Maybe an open mouth exhale. Let's take our arms all the way up. Circle them around so your fingers interlace. We'll take this really nice forward fold by gliding the knuckles down the glutes, letting the heart open. And then softening the knees, drawing the belly in, feeling the head fall towards the earth, which gives us a really nice opportunity to stretch out our hamstrings. Now, feel free to pull knuckles right and left here if you wish. And notice this movement from side to side as you feel your head get a little closer to the mat. And then if your shoulders are not happy, put your hands on your low back. Otherwise, one more breath. Hands to low back, hands to your yoga mat. Good. Step into plank as you exhale. One foot and then the other. Chaturanga Dandasana, melt down. Up dog or cobra. And then let's invite in another child's pose to practice after all that standing work. I'm grabbing a sip of water if you want to do that as well. I've also been speaking at you though. <laughs> Kindly. <laughs> Good. Take just a few more breaths here. Gently breathing in and out. You can keep your arms extended. It also feels nice. Press into your fingertips. Lift your palms. Lift your forearms. Lift your wrist. And just keep pushing down like you have these little spider fingers. Good. Hold there. Exhale, dolphin pose. 
So pray your palms, palms together, pinkies down, elbows face you, all right? Tuck your toes, please. Look back at your belly button, raise your hips. See your feet, keep your hips right here. Good, keep the core engaged. Exhale, five dolphin push-ups if you want. One, I shift my chest forward and back. Option one, just hold dolphin. Option two, we have three more. Three. Good, two, making sure this isn't creating more tension but instead building strength. Last one, push back, hold it, lower your knees. Good, straighten your arms on your inhale. Now we're going back to heel to glute. So first, reach the right leg back with me. Okay, now walk your, not walk your hands forward, excuse me, heel to glute, pick it up. Now walk your hands forward. Option one, do this on your hands and knees. Option two, pick up your left knee with me. We kick up eight, seven, six, five, four, three, good, two, one, drop the left knee if it's up, put the right knee down, and then give me, ooh, that was a big hip pop, hip side to side. Good. All right, now from here, we do the other side. Just one more time, I promise. Left leg pushes back. Just trying to get you a firm booty. <laughs> All right, now heel to butt. Option one, this is a great place to do this movement. Option two, donkey kicks from plank. So hands go forward, which helps because when you pick up right knee, it pushes you forward. Kick up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Put your right knee down gently. Put your left knee down. Good job, guys. Take it back to child's pose, everybody, and just take a breath or two. Slow it down. Long gaze forward. Downward facing dog, please. Hips come up and back. Good. Right leg rises on your inhale. Reach it away from the body, please. Step your right foot forward. Now, lower your left knee down with me. And then we're going to straighten our right leg into half splits. In order to go deeper, you're going to slide your right heel forward. And then maybe you walk your hands out. You can put blocks under your hands, pillows, water bottles, whatever you got. Good. And then the goal here is that everything stays in alignment. So the hips are behind you, your heart's reaching forward. Your right toes are up, or maybe you play around with plantar flexion, pointing the toe and then pulling it back to dorsal. Up to you. Good. Take one more full round of breath here with me. Exhale, you're gonna slide your heel back. You're going to bend your knee forward. Good. Just breathe, fingertips down, lift your chest up. And then exhale, you're going to step back to down dog. One, two, three. Roll forward plank. Meet me on your belly using knees or using your arms to bring you all the way down. Good. Now take your hands behind you, interlace your fingers over your bottom. Locust pose, bounded variation. Start to glide your knuckles down your glutes. Try to pick up your thumbs as you pick up your heart. Option to lift your feet as long as your back doesn't pinch when you do that. And if you lift your feet and your chest drops, then try to relift your chest or feel free to keep your feet down. Good. Three. It's difficult here to breathe fully, so I encourage you to really work your breath. Two. Forehead is going to touch the mat. Hands are going to come next to your nipple line. And then you're going to push up slowly, meeting in sphinx. So let your right forearm come forward. Not all the way up. Just meet me here. Good job. Exhale, sphinx. 
Bend your knees as we rock it from left to right side. Good, and then gently straighten the arms, keep your toes together, squeeze your butt, seal pose. Can your toes reach your head? The answer is probably no. <laughs> Good, lower down, lower your toes down, bring your hands back. Maybe you have a little cobra or just a tabletop. Meet me in down dogs. So we can take half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana, on the second side. Full Hanumanasana, full splits are pretty challenging. Remember, if I ever offer you a half split and you want to take a full split, that's totally fine too. Left leg lifts when you're ready. Exhale, please step forward. Good. Now, right knee is going to drop down. Good. Start to straighten your left leg, but I'm going to go ahead and walk my left leg forward first. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. And then pull my hips back. This hamstring definitely tighter, a little even like more tender of a sensation. Option to keep your toes stacked over your heel or down and up. Good. And you might be like, I want to stay here for 10 breaths versus three. You do you. Again, you can keep the stretch active by looking forward past the end of your mat or more passive, let the head drop down. Both options are great. It really just depends on what your body needs. For me, it's more passive, feels much more inviting. One more breath here. And then ever so slowly, let your heel pull back towards you. Rebend your knee, boom. Good. Fingertips are planted next to your foot. Pull your chest forward. Hold it here just for a moment. And then exhale as you ground your palms. Final down dog. Exhale to push back. Roll forward plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog. Hold right here. And then exhale, drop your knees and your shins. Come to him, hands and knees, excuse me. And then make your way to seated. All right. Now, from seated, what I want you to do is bend your left knee so that your left foot reaches for your right leg. Reach your right leg out. We're first going to twist to the left, so take your arms up. And then you're going to move to the left towards the bent knee, okay? Take your right hand outside of the knee and then gaze behind you. And ideally, you should have a little more room than you did on your first spinal twist right now. Now, this right shoulder is going to do the next pose. So keep hold of your knee. Raise your back left arm up with me. And lean your right knee to your right leg. Your left arm is probably just going to be chilling up in space because you're tight and that's okay. Nice option to put your hand behind your head or put your hand on your ribs. Good. Sit all the way up. Exhale now. Move your ribs and your belly so they now face the right leg, okay? That's the straight leg. Take both arms up and then fold forward over the right leg. Janu Shirshasana A. Head to knee pose. So again, you can drop your forehead so it touches your shin or your knee. And it's okay if it doesn't touch. A lot of us can't bring our head down. So remember, you can put a block there, a pillow, or nothing at all and just let your head hang. Or you can let your chin reach down and look forward to your toes. On your next breath, we're going to slowly bring the spine up. Take your left arm all the way up for rock star. Put it behind you. You're going to press into your right foot and your left knee. Ready, set, come up. Good. Three. You should feel this in the front of your right thigh. Two. And then have a seat with me on one. Let's do all that on the other side. Then we'll lay down and you'll almost be done. Left leg reaches out. Bring the right foot in, please. Good, inhale, raise your arms up. 
exhale, seated twist to the right. So I'm turning away from you so that I can glue my fingertips back behind me. My left hand can take hold of my knee and then I start to revolve the spine. And I have pretty tight shoulders. I have pretty developed traps. So for me, having to twist and work through kind of some tightness and muscle strength, definitely challenging. And there's a balance between building too much muscle sometimes plus trying to create flexibility. Now keep hold of your knee. Lean your left shoulder to your left knee. Right arm up. Again, keep it straight up. Hand might come behind head. That's a little aggressive for me. So I'm going to go right hand to ribs, which is going to help me kind of guide my side body open because I feel a really big stretch here. Take two more slow breaths before we take our fold over our left leg. Gently rise up, move your torso so that it parallels the left thigh, reach your arms up, and then fold over left leg. And it should be, feel pretty surprising, the difference in just shifting the rotation of the spine and how it completely changes the pose and how your body's feeling. Last two breaths. And then as you come up, feel free to take rock star or not. So right arm's gonna come up, put it behind you, press into your left foot and your right knee. Please lift your pelvis up, take a back bend, hold it, and take a seat. Let's lay down onto our backs. You've made it. Scooch forward. Or we have made it. <laughs> Hug your knees in. Good. Notice how much you just gave back to your body. Exhale. Legs come into the air for me. And just let your ankles have a little freedom here. So roll through the ankles. Maybe even just close your eyes. But it's good to get your feet in the air for a circulation perspective, but also for the sake of getting your feet over your face in an inversion. And giving yourself this opportunity, point and flex your toes, to really notice, do you stretch your ankles? Do you stretch your feet? And the reality is we should be stretching our feet and hands the most because we use them the most during the day. Right? Our jaw, our face, our feet, excuse me, our jaw, our hands, our feet are some of the most used muscles and we don't really do regular foot, hand, and mouth stretches. <laughs> Hug your knees in. Good. I said we would take a second spinal twist, so we're going to do that now. Lay your left leg down. Good. Your right knee's hugging in. And then you're going to carefully and slowly bring your knee across the body. Bump your hips and take a twist. Your right arm is going to reach away from the body. And just start to release in your low back. Breathe in and out. Good. From here, you're going to bring your right knee back to center slowly. Exhale, switch. Left knee comes to chest, right leg long on the earth. And then please take your spinal twist to the opposite side. Bump your hips left. Bring your knee across to the right. And twist. Breathing in and breathing out. Slowly come back to center. Take your time. Exhale, pull your knees in. We'll take a very yummy, happy baby. So remember, if you can't grab your feet, grab your calf muscles, pull your knees down. Or if you can grab the pinky toe edges, do so. 
And if that's easy, watch. You can also take your hands. I'm going to go inside my legs, around my shins to grab my feet. So it's almost like I've bound from the inside. And if you just got lost, don't worry about it. <laughs> Good. Breathe in and out. And then exhale very slowly. You're going to release your body down onto the ground. Legs long. Close your eyes with me. Welcome to your Shavasana practice. Relax your mouth. Close your eyes. Take in this really lovely moment right here. And just feel all of your energy. Find a really relaxing space. Notice the sounds that you hear while you're lying here. Notice your breath. Take two more rounds of breath together, trying to inhale through the nose. Exhale. And then from here, you can roll to your right side. You can hug your knees in. You can do a combination of both. But eventually we're gonna bring ourselves up to seated together. Unless you wanna stay on your backs for longer, which is also an option. And then close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, whether you're on your back or you're seated, Allow yourself this moment, this really peaceful place, learning how to use our practice off of our mats as we quiet our mind within everything else that's going on in our lives. I invite you to fold forward here, walk your hands out if you wish, namaste. And thank you so much for practicing. Good job.